Hello everyone, and welcome to Upgrading the Steam Link, Episode 1, Cody TV. So let's see what it's all about. In today's multi-OS tutorial, we're going to be installing the Kodi TV application on our Steam Link. This video I'm going to do on Linux and Windows, but only show both if it's OS specific. For example, if a certain command only works on Linux, and another only works on Windows, this specific will be shown for both. So if you're looking for a Linux variant, and I'm showing Windows, it just means the process is the same, and vice versa. If you have any questions, just comment down below, and I will go ahead and assist you there. Alright, back to the Kodi TV app itself. Quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, I do not condone anything that Kodi has to offer. I'm also not going to show which add-ons you should install. You can find those all on Reddit or the Kodi TV app website. I briefly went into the alternative OS in a review video, but before we start our hardware prep, why don't we check out what the Kodi TV app is all about. So the Kodi TV app is a free open source media player and entertainment space that has a wide range of use to it. Its user-made add-ons upgrade its use case, turning whatever the device the app is running on into an ultimate media hub. Well, kind of. Now we can use this multimedia hub for music, movies, TV shows, games, recording live TV, photos, and anything else in these side-loaded add-ons. All right, now that we can see what we can do with the Kodi app, Let's get into seeing what we need to actually install this. For hardware, you're going to need a laptop or desktop running Windows or Linux, a 4 to 8 GB USB drive, your Steam Link, power cables for it, a keyboard and or controller, its cables for that, and some way to view the Steam Link like a monitor or a TV. Just make sure you have all the necessary cables. And that brings us to software prep. The only thing we're gonna need is the Kodi TV specific files found in the GitHub page by GearBear, which link down in the description below, and some way to unzip files with a .tgz or .zip extension. Now to download this, go to the releases tab. Now when picking the release, I would highly suggest getting the latest version 17.6, as it only has the specified known issues Kodi does not respect overscan settings, video after playback, no input from Steam controller addressed by upcoming firmware update. I'm actually going to install the current pre-release of version 18.1. It has SD and HD videos that stutter and no keyboard and mouse input yet, as well as the same standard known issues, except this time we are able to use the Steam Link input. Now, due to the no keyboard or mouse input yet we're going to have to use that controller but if you download the actual latest version and not the pre-release keyboard and mouse input should work perfectly fine now this release came out in 2019 so we're going to see if we can modify it and add some changes to it but we won't be able to do that until we actually go about setting this up now i may end up downgrading if i cannot get this version 18.1 to work successfully so if you're going to download the specific version just hit the assets button and download the .tgz file and save it to a location that's easily accessible. Once the file is finished downloading, go to the file location, extract it, and then we'll do the same here on Linux. And that's it. Next up, we're going to need to set up our USB drive. This will be done in two sections. So check out the timestamps below. Plug in your USB drive, if you're on a virtual machine, don't forget to connect it to the virtual machine itself, and let's get into prepping it. Now, we need to format the USB stick as a FAT32 or extension 4. Now, being on Windows, go to Partition Manager. If it's not FAT32, just right click, hit Format, change the file system to FAT32. Now extension 4 can be easily done on Linux. 
So we just need to make it FAT32. Now after you plug in your USB stick, we can partition it in two different ways. Go to the partition manager or if 30 partition under here in file explorer, right click, hit properties. We can see that it's a fat file system, but just to make sure it's set up correctly, we're going to format. We're going to name it steam link drive. You can actually name this whatever you want. We're going to do this as an extension for and hit next. Hit format and wait for it to finish formatting. And now that's done, just hit the X and go to the newly formatted USB stick. All right, now we have to set up the files on our USB stick. So open up the newly formatted partition create a new folder, type in steam link. Now I'm unsure if it's case sensitive, so I'll just keep it lowercase. And then in here, do another folder, call it apps, and enter that folder. Now here's where we're going to copy over that Kodi folder that we saw, just the basic Kodi folder, not the one with the version and the extension. So go to where you have it downloaded to and extracted, go into that folder, right click, click copy, go back to our USB stick, go into Steam Link, go into apps and copy it here. Once it's done, eject your USB stick and now we can get on to setting this thing up and installing it on our Steam Link. Quick disclaimer, I'm not responsible for the bricking of your device. All of these applications are still in development and are experimental, so not everything will work. Follow the tutorial at your own risk. So head over to your Steam Link, plug in the USB stick to any one of the USB-A ports, plug the Steam Link into a monitor or TV via the HDMI, and then plug in the power cable. Now, because I'm using the pre-release software, I'm also going to plug in a controller. Everyone else, I would either suggest plugging in a keyboard and mouse or a controller into the other USB-A ports just to set some things up. Now, it's going to take around two minutes to install the 80 megabyte archive. It may take a little bit longer depending on your USB and its speeds. Once it's done installing, it should boot right into the Steam Link OS with the Kodi app on the main screen. Now that it's there, if you want, you can disconnect your USB stick and power cycle the Steam Link. Alright, why don't we move over to setting up the Kodi application, checking it out and seeing how it's running on the Steam Link. Software setup is pretty cut and dry. All you need to do is just enter the Kodi app itself. It should start auto updating the apps if you're connected to the internet. And then if you go to add-ons here on the left side, you can add any add-ons that way. And that's pretty much it for software setup. Let's get into software testing. Now real quick before we check some things out, your mileage may vary. Again, I would suggest using that actual release version of the Kodi Leia package on the GitHub page. This version 18 and 18.1 of the pre-release does have plenty of bugs in them. Now here in system info, we can see our CPU usage, system memory usage. And at the top here, we can see our current FPS. So it's actually not that bad. The device seems to get a little bit warm. And our file system block, in my opinion, kind of doesn't make sense or add up with what we saw in a review. But we can probably look more into that in another video. I ended up downgrading to that official release as I had issues with version 18 and 18.1 pre-release. So we're just gonna use that for our testing. Based on what I was able to do and what I had available to myself. I didn't really set up too much of anything, so I wasn't able to fully test it out. 
not every repository I tried installing actually downloaded, so it was more stuck than anything. But when it comes to installing apps and add-ons, just make sure you follow the documentation if it asks. For example, the Kodi TV needs required hardware to run PVR. So if you go to the website kodi.tv slash PVR, it should show you what you need to set it up. Now some issues and the fixes that you may have, if you can't unzip the file, run your program as administrator and then unzip it. This pertains more to Windows. If you can't update the Kodi apps or install them, try using the official release. That seems to be better off. I ended up having to downgrade my own because the 18.0 and 18.1 version I was trying didn't work. And that pretty much is everything I ran into. If you have any issues, comment down below. I'll do my best to assist. And that's pretty much about it. Now, when it comes to reverting states, since we just added this as an app add-on, all we need to do is just remove the Kodi app from our homepage. Whatever button you use to delete, just hit delete and click yes. Now, I'm unsure if it actually removes the entire thing from the... Now, I'm unsure if it actually fully removes the files off the system, but let's just say it does. Now, we can check this by enabling SSH and checking it that way, but we're not going to cover that in this video. And that brings us to the end. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial gave some insight into kind of a little series we're going to do about modifying Steam Link. It's nice to see that we're able to use what would be an e what would be more e-waste in the world as another alternative device. Now, I don't say go ahead and go buy one as there are plenty of alternatives to use in place of the Steam Link, but it's nice to see that. Consider subscribing for more content like this. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike it, and I'll see y'all in the next video.